If you've been exploring quitting drinking, then chances are you've probably heard people saying that you need to meditate. Now, how important is meditation in your day-to-day -day routine when you want to stop drinking alcohol? I'm Simon Chappell, the Quit Alcohol Coach, the author of the Sober Survival Guide and the book How to Quit Alcohol in 50 Days. And I run this YouTube channel for anyone who wants to change their relationship with drinking. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified every time there's a new video. There's new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. Now let's talk about meditation and the importance of it in your routine when it comes to quitting drinking. Now, when I first started working on my relationship with alcohol, which was over three years ago, I didn't really meditate. I did it occasionally, but it wasn't part of my daily routine. And I decided to start bringing it into my day. Just a 10 minute practice, a short practice using an app. Now there's plenty of apps you can explore. There's Calm, Headspace and Insight Timer. Insight Timer is actually a free app and it's got absolutely stacks of brilliant meditation practices on there. The reason I use an app is because it's guided. It walks me through the process. Guided meditations tend to be a great place to start for people who are just exploring meditation. But if you've already meditated before, you might not need an app. You can just do it silently and you may not even want to use a timer. Do what feels right for you. And make sure you have a suitable space where you can meditate in complete peace. I use this room. And while total silence is not necessary because we can still acknowledge the sounds that we might hear while we're meditating, having some level of quiet just enhances the experience and makes it better. But do you really need to do it? Well, I would say yes. And the reason I would say that is not only does meditation help you feel calmer and allow you to move through challenging and difficult emotions if you're experiencing them in that moment. Over time, the more that you practice meditation, the more you find yourself while you're conscious during the day being in the now, being in the present moment. And here's the thing, this is why meditation is so important. Whenever you are in the present moment, whenever you're in the now, you're not thinking about the future, you're not focusing on the past, you're not getting tangled up in negativity. Storytelling through overthinking does not happen so long as you are concentrating and present in that moment. Concentrating on what's around you, no matter what that might be. If you're walking in nature, you might be observing the trees around you, listening to the sound, feeling the crunch of the leaves underneath your footsteps. If you're at work, you might be observing what's going on in that moment, paying close attention and concentrating on exactly what you're doing. The moment that you step out of the now, out of the present moment, that's when you're inviting your thinking mind to take over. And as soon as you do that, you can find yourself down a rabbit hole of negativity. Uncomfortable feelings can come up. You can start experiencing anger, resentment, worries, fears, you name it. They can all start to come into play. As soon as you're in the present moment, it doesn't happen. It's completely eliminated. The more you're going to find yourself at peace and you can reach a deep level of peace. And it sounds so simple, but it absolutely works. And actually the book, the Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle is a great place to explore this. I found this hugely helpful. Not so much around meditation. Meditation, I found, was something that I really cultivated through the use of apps like Calm and Headspace. But The Power of Now really opened my eyes to the importance of being in a state of presence, in a state of mindful awareness and concentrating on what was happening in the moment. And it really does does make a massive difference. And the reason that's important is because as soon as we go down a rabbit hole of negative feelings, that's when we can find ourselves wanting to reach for alcohol to numb out the feelings that we're experiencing. And nine times out of 10, those feelings come off the back of our thinking mind. Now our thinking mind is important. Our thinking mind is a tool. It's there to serve us, but we don't need that tool switched on 
all of the time. Use it when you need it. But the rest of the time, focus on what's happening in the now. You can try it for yourself. Try it after you've watched this video. Simply concentrate on what is happening now. Concentrate on something around you. And if you find it hard, just concentrate on your breath breathing in through your nose and back out through your nose. You don't need to close your eyes. You can simply use your breath as an anchor as you go about your day. But it can be an anchor that allows you to focus on the present moment rather than allowing the thinking mind to take over. As soon as you start to notice that your thinking mind is swinging into action, you're already on the way to change. The fact that you're noticing it rather than reacting to it. So start to notice when you're your thinking mind is throwing up a commentary or telling you to do things or making you feel shame or fear or anger about something and then bring it back to the present moment. As I say, if you want to explore it more deeply, check out the book The Power of Now because that was a huge help for me and it's really, really been a game changer in terms of focusing much more often on being in the present moment. And I found that meditation, just a daily 10 minute meditation, helps me stay in that place of mindful awareness and in the now much more often as I go about my day. It just helps to keep practicing that and make it part of your routine. So yes, I would recommend meditation as part of your sober journey. If you're looking to quit drinking, I think this is gonna be a big tool in your armory and it's gonna really help you feel calmer and way more at peace. So until next time, Try that. Try and bring yourself into the now and post a comment below and tell me whether you experienced a much calmer and deeper sense of peace when you were in the now and whether you were able to switch off your thinking mind. Even if it's just for a few moments, I'd love to hear what happens for you. And I'll see you on the next video very soon.